Can you, okay, that last part right there, we need to explain a little bit. When did this happen? How do we know it happened? What exactly, what what sources are you referring to here? Someone might have, might have no idea what you're talking about. Byzantine, what, what, is he, what, is he, what are all these words? Let's um, explain to him. So what time period are we in? Where, what is this? What century is this? And where is this happening at? Uh, well, actually, the time period goes all the way from um, uh, probably the early 5th century uh, to about the 9th century, my guess would be. Um, we have it, um, the Evdosia, who was uh, an empress, um, was a poet, and she uh, worked with some philosophers in order to write, rewrite the Gospels by using Homeric lines in order to do so. And that's why they're called the Homerocentones, that is the Homeric stitchings, because these things are restitched together. We also have imitations in the Gospel of um, uh, Nicodemus, especially in the medieval version, and that usually is dated all right to the 10th um, century. Wow. So the point is that we have in the history of uh, interpretation or reading of these texts, uh, people who recognize the similarities between them. Now, I don't think they thought that Mark was, uh, or the gospel authors were um, committing mimesis, but they did see the similarities between the stories and saw that Jesus was more compassionate than the likes of Polyphemus. That's fascinating. So do you have, so we, w later on in these Byzantine writings, like you said, you, they, they, they're using these texts. And so that's, Explain to somebody how that makes it evident that um, they're aware of these connections. Oh, because over and over again, when they want to tell a story that appears in the Gospels, they use Homeric uh, language. Exactly. I want to I want to point out my book here, uh, Synopses of Epic Tragedy in the Gospels. How do I do that? Um, and you'll see volume one is on the synoptics. If you look up uh, every word in the Gospels, uh, I translate and it appears in this um, in parallel. It's actually a synopsis of the Gospels with analogies uh, in epic and tragedy. And if you look up the story of Polyphemus, uh, or I'm sorry, the Gerasene demoniac, which appears in all three synoptics, you'll find footnotes that leads you to an appendix that gives my translation of the Centones or the Gospel of uh, Nicodemus. So all of these things are in this reference work. And this work is going to be the backbone of the course that Derek and I are putting together. Well, I just want to say I, I'm completely sold by, by the arguments and evidence that you put forth for this. The 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 uh the course is going to show people who, why I'm so convinced. You just go to the course, you'll find out. But so I'm gonna leave that aside for people to go check out on their own. But I just want the last thing I want to ask you about is 